And he Neil's getting the best of the best. It's it's typical Neil. Start off with like this is going to be amazing, and now he's down to Mark fucking Norman. Yeah. Like, I know he's doing the- great. Mark Norman's doing great, but he's down to he went from David Letterman to Mark Norman. You think Mark Norman doesn't think that's quite a drop? You think Mark Norman he's up there with David Letterman? Do people really listen? Nobody to all even of- knows who Mark Norman is. If you're not a comedy fan, you or you watch Joe Rogan. Everybody knows David Letterman. Everybody since that, nobody knows any of these fucking... You think anybody knows Bobby fucking Lee? Unless you're on oh, YouTube or you want to fuck his ex-girlfriend, you don't know who Bobby Lee is. Bobby Lee's done nothing in show business consistently for 25 years. But who listens to I had stuff? him on my pilot. That's how bad he is. Yeah. Who listens to these podcasts like with uh, the same people? Oh, Andrew Santino and... It's like, the who- same shit. Andrew Schultz, Christy Stefano. Yeah, that's weird. That's how you say his name, right? They're just losers. They're like the potato fans. They're just, they're so lonely that they'll watch anything. They just want from familiarity or whatever that word is. And, and so they watch Mark Norman do anything. Cause he's, I guess he's cute, but if you like wordplay, you're going to love Mark Norman. Mm. Give me a great Mark Norman joke. And it's basically, I bet there's wordplay involved. He loves it. The guy I loves did, fucking wordplay. I didn't change my back. I was asked to change. And I'm my a fan. Background. I'm a fan of Mark Norman. I'm trying to get him on this show. I'm actually, I actually talked to Neil about giving me a recommendation. Well, what about Chad? Isn't Chad friends with him? We're not going to get Mark Norman on. What are they going to do? Actually, I, that got might him be, on, I got him on. Uh, actually, that might be funny because the fans would fucking troll him mercilessly, <laughs> mercilessly. And he would be like, what the fuck is this show? You guys just. Well, you, whoever whoever is. the guest is, you just attack them. It's like, got, yeah, pretty much. I got them on. Who would you get on here? Like, who do we bridges. get? Yeah, but who are we going to get on here that's not going to get attacked besides, like, Florentine? Uh, and, and they still attack. But, I mean, but, like, who's who's a good guest here? That's why. They're going to attack anybody we bring them. They're, that's exactly. the idea. It's a show that Brewer. basically is this. And then you bring in somebody like Ray comes in. And then you have, uh, who else do we have in a lot? Uh, Ray and who else? There's somebody That's it. else. Uh, okay, Ray. We have Ray. Mario Bosco. Jake. Jake Hudson. We're gonna get Barry Ribs. I'm I'm ready to send him a, a info. Like well, maybe we can get Barry ready today. To send him info. Well, yeah, you gotta send him. You gotta tell him where to go to the fucking, uh, you know, the place to fucking uh, get the Wi-Fi. He has to. It has to be planned. He needs. Actually. He needs notice. He needs like 24 hour notice. I think so. That's what I'm pretty sure. I, that I sent I sent uh, his manager a DM. Chad, aren't you friends with his manager? Yeah. Doesn't I he run your know. TikTok? Atticus. Yeah. 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 This guy Atticus, he sends me stuff, making suggestions. He hasn't posted to it forever though. I got him a cl- actual client, and he he won't even post anything to my TikTok. <laughs> Who who's a client that he got him? I don't give out private information. Well, it's a client. He's supposed Laurentine? to sell the client. Quarantine. I don't know. That's a yes. Yeah, he's running his TikTok too. Okay, so so I sent Atticus Flynn a DM saying, you know, Barry Ribs. I could give Barry Ribs money. Barry Ribs needs money. He absolutely needs money. And then he'll still be like, well, I'm waiting for Kumi to call or or E-Rock or DL Ugly. It's like, these people are fucking idiots. So Atticus Flynn he acts like he's a manager. I DM'd him yesterday. I haven't heard back yet. So what the fuck is that? Like, what the fuck is any of this shit? Even I'm starting to wonder. Yeah, with yeah, the potatoes and with the fucking, you know, it's annoying. Garo, like, like maybe uh, we still we should try to get Mark Norman clowns like that. We'll, we'll see what happens. Chad stepdad gave him a weird fetish where he punches himself for Patreon subs. You got interviewed by two veggies. Who's a bigger hack? I got duped. How did you get duped by a fucking I goddamn corn? He... Just stop it with that. Dude, I'll, he, I'll dox him he... right now. I'll show you what no, he said. Why me. would you dox him? Because you so want... you'll shut up. I'll shut up. Well, okay, I'll, don't dox him and I'll shut up, okay? All right. Holy shit. I've never seen someone so mad about corn. The African. The African oh, nation... I got to put this one up, Adam. What? We're going way out of order. Bob is a fence running queen and Chad is a psychopath. Cut them both loose, KB. Oh, fuck you, a fucking fence. There's no fence here. <laughs> What's your wife say about all this? She she knows that I, I'm normal and I get along with people. I go out. I, you see me when I do shows. People come to me. I talk to them. I'm nice to people. I don't go out to fucking, you know, have a horrible time. 
Yeah, that's how I speak for you. You know how I am. The African nation of Chad has announced it is changing its name to Brendan Schwab. Was a bit Schwab, Schaub, Brendan Schaub. Whatever it is, I don't know who the fuck. Yeah, that guy gets a lot of. That guy gets a lot of. Uh, it's that's why you know comedy is like it's not really it's not really about like how good you are as a comic because Brendan Schaub is just Brendan Schaub is just like a Brendan Schaub. People are they're obsessed with him and Bobby Lee. I guess he tried to have sex with Bobby Lee's girlfriend, his ex girlfriend. Uh Where a guy like Mike Vecchione, who's a great comic, I guess he's his uh, YouTube thing's coming out this mm-hmm. week. I was going to have him on, but it's like, and what? He's a nice guy, great comic. Uh, there's really not much to, but but he doesn't, you know. I like he, I like I like Mike a lot. He's a good dude. But but he but but people don't care. So it's like it, it's From really Youngstown. it's really fucked up how fucked up show it's comedy yeah. is now. Where where being a good comic is really not that important. It's more about like getting on Rogan or, or just being like being Popular. getting a lot of hits on, on fucking mm-hmm. YouTube because Bobby Lee, I have any, Bobby Lee's like a nothing. He's just a little guy. He's a little adorable guy. Somebody please click this and send this to him, clip it and send it mm-hmm. to him. But he's just a little, Hi, um, Bobby. L- a little guy that everybody likes. Cause he's little, he's non-threatening. He's like Neil. He's a non-threat threatening male. And people like that. And, and, you know, but he's not, but he's, you know, every, every time I see he's on somebody's show, he does huge numbers on YouTube because, because his girlfriend, because he dumped, he got broke up, his, him and his girlfriend broke up or something, or she was getting hit on by Brandon Schaub. And it's like, wow, this is, this is like comedy or this is high school. So, mm. so guys like fucking Mike Vecchione are getting fucked in the ass because, uh, because of YouTube and because of how stupid mm. comedy is. Yeah. Yeah. Mike Vecchione. Oh yeah. Sorry. Go ahead. Raisin Brad, 199. Did Chad crash Mark Norman's wedding? Yep. Yeah, we heard that up here when you before you were when you weren't on the show. I crashed his actual wedding. Have you been to Mike Calta's house? Several times. You with have? you actually with you at one point. Oh yeah, that's right. I was there. <laughs> I was you at his house. <laughs> <laughs> what what a dick. And I gave out his number. What a dick. Yeah, unbelievable. I'm a fucking dick. That's a dick move. No, but they, we weren't at his house like at, at, for a picnic. We were at his house because we did a show there during COVID. But still, I mean, he had, yeah, he we still he still let us in. So I guess that's why he's mad. Bobby, I only, Z, gave, it out, I only gave it out once, and I took it. I took it down. We we already yeah. read this one. 